another vlog. Uh, this is a very chaotic vlog. I feel like that's just going to be my theme for a minute until I stop traveling and I don't know when that's going to happen. It seems like every month I have to go somewhere out of state. Anyway, uh, this week's vlog, we got a lot going on. I think I might do this week and next week's together. Um, we're starting the vlog in, a, in Atlanta. We're going to hit up New York, then we'll be back in Atlanta, and then we got a bunch of stuff to do in Atlanta. It's gonna, uh, next week is a huge week, so stay tuned for that. But like I said before, this is probably going to be a very chaotic, yet fun and informative vlog. I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, today's gonna be an unboxing day. We're gonna do some unboxing. I have a, if, if you can see in there, listen, it's a lot better than when this first, when this stuff first got dropped off. I have to take out the rest of the stuff out of those boxes from the move. I've really just been taking my time doing it because it's a lot. I cannot believe we had so much stuff in LA. <laughs> like I can't, I thought we would have more stuff in Philly, but we had a lot of stuff in LA. So I'm going to finish unpacking those boxes or at least tip to but then i have a fun unboxing because i've gotten some stuff in for uh the fall i want to do a fall vlog later in the week but i do want to unbox those things and show you those things that i got and then after that uh mama star is currently making dinner so i'm going to eat dinner and then probably wrap up today because we just have so much going on like girl tomorrow's gonna be a lot probably some more unboxings because stuff is still getting uh shipped here but that is today tomorrow will worry about itself let's get into today <laughs> now this stuff right here is everything that i'm going to show you guys when i show you my pre-fall haul i mean it, it, it was a lot neater before i started cleaning up but um this you you guys you guys won't see any of this today but you will see it in my fall uh vlog um my fall is this a vlog Y'all know what I'm talking about, my fall video. Oh, this is so beautiful when it lights up. Uh, you'll see that, and then you'll see some of the stuff that I'm gonna show you in this video and that one. But yeah, this is my pre-fall haul, and this is some of the things that I got. And I only say pre because I realize, baby, I need more pumpkins. I need more stuff, this isn't enough. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff to get through. So bear with me. I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible because also I realized I need to meal prep. I have not meal prepped and I need to meal prep for the rest of the week. So I'm going to do this unboxing, eat dinner, and then I'm going to um, do my meal prep for the rest of the week because that has been helping me. Shout out to my Nikki Star TV family and all of those who are doing the Love at the Lockup Challenge with me. If you don't know what the Love at the Lockup Challenge is, uh, the Love at the Lockup, a uh, Life After Lockup, um, is a show that I've been reviewing along with Love After Lockup that comes before that and Love During Lockup that will be after that. So because this show is 16 weeks, um, on one of my lives, I was just like, you know what? This show is going to be on for 16 weeks and I'm going to be sitting here reviewing it. I better be in a different place after these 16 weeks. And I just said it. And then I was thinking about it and everybody else in the chat started commenting and be like, you know what? Yeah, 16 weeks is a, lo is a long time. I want to be in a different place in my life too. So I just decided to make up the Love at the Lockup Challenge where throughout those six, these 16 weeks that we're watching and reviewing and having a kiki with this show, every week we're going to work on something that we've been trying to accomplish and we have not been able to do it. For me, I'm working on um, a, well, not the whole script, but I at least want to get, because um, I have an outline of a script of a, a film that um, I'm currently writing and I just can't get past certain points. So I at least want to have the first few pages written. Maybe I'm not giving myself a number, you know what I mean? Because I could say 10 and then go to 20 or just have five. And I don't want to disappoint myself because then I'll get in my head. But I at least want to have a few pages of uh, that script written so I could have a starting point because I have the outline. I just need to take the outline and put it to paper. So that's uh, one of the challenges that I'm doing for myself as well. Another thing is health wellness and fitness. I feel like I start and stop a lot of times. I start and stop with my skincare. I start and stop with my uh, hair care and my, you know, the health and wellness with my body. So I'm challenging myself to stay committed, to stay consistent and see where I'm at after these 16 weeks. So that, um, so that is the love at the lockup challenge in a nutshell. And the reason why I brought that up is because meal prepping has really been helping me. It's been a huge help. I used to think meal prepping was something totally different and um, I felt like you had to do it one way, but the way I meal prep really, really works 
for me. So I want to keep that up. Another thing, guys, this has nothing to do with the challenge or meal prepping. This has everything to do with the fact that Martha Stewart Living broke my heart. Girl, I got this. <laughs> I got this in the mail. Subscription change from Martha Stewart Living. We're writing to let you know about a change to your subscription. You'll soon be receiving real simple magazine instead of Martha Stewart Living, which is no longer being published. What is going on? We'll send you real simple for the remaining for the remainder of your term. And this is the holiday season. I was looking forward to Martha Stewart uh, Halloween, Martha Stewart Fall, Martha Stewart Thanksgiving, Martha Stewart Christmas. And I'm not going to get any of that Martha Stewart New Year's. I'm not going to get any of that. I love real simple, but it's not Martha Stewart. Oh my goodness. Uh, with the same renewal features as your current subscription, if you're already a real simple su subscriber, which I am, so I've been getting that magazine anyway, we'll just extend your subscription the appropriate number of issues. Girl, bye. I want Martha Stewart. What is going on over there? I can't be financial woes because she just opened a restaurant in Vegas. So if you got money to open a restaurant, you got money to keep the magazine afloat. <sighs> Martha, what's going on, girl? Let's talk. Anyway, let's get into this unboxing. Mm. All right, I got my influencer stuff. Let me get the big stuff out the way. Let's get the big stuff out the way. Ciao. This is ridiculous. But I feel like I know what this is, but let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh, Mama Star has been juicing, and I've been um, I've been uh, loving her juice combinations. She juiced. Um, pineapple cucumber and ginger and this is what i'm drinking now i'm drinking a mixture of pineapple cucumber and ginger and this is my nikki star tv cup created for me by tracy who is a nikki star tv general and she is an amazing designer so that's what i'm drinking uh, juices have also been helping me you know what i mean instead of getting a soda i get a fresh pressed juice it helps all right, let's get into it. I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is, and I'm really excited. I am really excited. Move out the way. I'm with my girls when we all need. Turn in. I don't cut. Ooh. I don't cut myself. I'm with my girls. I think I know what this is. Child, Marshall's online is going to get me in trouble. Marshall's online is going to get me in trouble. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Marshall's online is going to get me in trouble. So guys, look how good God is, right? So a year ago, to this day, a year ago, I was in, I think I was in, it was not Marshall's, I was in Michael's, and I saw this wreath. I saw this wreath, and I have been trying to find a way to make it ever since then, right? But it's always, I found a way to make it, and it's always been way more than I wanted to pay to make this item, because I found these velour pumpkins, but they're like $3 a pumpkin, and I'm like, I'm gonna need a lot, right? I'm going to need a, not, a lot for this wreath. So I was just like, no, I'm just not going to do it. And I was searching cheaper and cheaper ways to make it. I just couldn't find it. And then I was looking at Marshalls online because let me tell you something. When Marshall sends me, send me, sends me those uh, updates about the new collection that they have, I go and look every time and every time I find something. So I feel like... No, I was about to lie. I was about to say that I'm going to start ignoring their notifications. I'm going to ignore their notifications in the new year. The holiday stuff, I'm a, I'm a watch. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. So I got a notification for this. Um, it wasn't for this, but there was an advertisement, and this was in the advertisement. And I was just like, that is not the wreath that I've been looking for for a year. It was. It was. So I went online and I ordered it right away. This was $24.99 from Marshalls online. And it's worth every penny. It's worth every penny. Keep in mind, I was trying to recreate this. And it was always looking to be like over 100 Because you have to think about materials uh, to make this. Supplies to make this. Then you also have to think about getting extra supplies in case you mess something up. And then the shipping and handling to get these things. Because there's no place that's going to have this stuff 
on hand. And if you do have it on hand, it's at Michael's and, it and it's extremely expensive. So this is what I got. Oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to put this up. I can't wait to put this up. So this is it. I'm gonna put this in my fall haul because this is absolutely part of my fall collection. That's so cute. I love it. All right, that's the big, that's one of the big items. What's the next big item? Let's, oh, this is heavy. Ciao. This is heavy. Heavy, heavy. Ugh. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is something else from Home Goods. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this might be for you, Mom. I think this might be for you. Yes, 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 yes. So, something else I got from Home Goods. So, the theme of my bathroom at this point is Pink Tiger Disco. I know it's a lot. 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 But that's what I'm going for for now. It changes because it started off as Pink Jungle and now it's Pink Disco Tiger. So, who knows? Who knows what it'll be in a month? But anyway, this is actually um, the curtain that I'm going to put in my bathroom window because I got a little bathroom window and I would have put that there. And I got that because of these, right? It's not giving disco, but it's giving sparkle. I want to see how it looks because I will say it was a little more shiny online. And I don't know how I feel about these sparkles. Lack thereof. So we'll see. I'll put it on my bathroom window um, and I'll see what it looks like. But you know, I'm well within uh, the return policy. So we'll see. But this is it. I'll show you guys what it looks like, even if I don't like it. So yeah, this is one of the things I, another thing that I got from Home Goods. I said Marshalls, right? No, Home Goods. This is Home Goods. Same company. Same company. All right, what else did I get from Home Goods? Oh my goodness, yes. I got a couple cookbooks too. I got a couple cookbooks. They were all on sale. Wait. They're still there. So if you go to Home Goods right now, just look in their cookbook section. They have, for some reason, they're getting rid of their uh, cookbooks. Um, the cookbooks I got, both were $2. Clarence, originally $20, but it was Clarence. And I was just like, I'm not getting rid, I'm not passing by a cookbook. That's two freaking dollars, especially when it's a hardcover. You know I love me a hardcover. But this is actually um, a design book from Domino. I love Domino. Um, I was one of the first people to sign up for the Domino magazine. I think they went out of print. I think that I think they went out of print as well. What is going on, girl? What is going on? But yeah, this is the book. Let's see what it looks like inside. What it looks like inside. You know, just fun design stuff. Just fun design stuff and ideas. And when you are putting your home together, DIYing the heck out of it, like myself, you need a little domino guidebook. So that's what I got. Oh, what's the next book? The next book that I oh this one this is the one this is this is the one that was uh two dollars right here oh you know what I'm a garden I'm a garden I'm a garden you know who I'm talking about she she her book her cookbook was also on clearance I didn't get it because I was just like that's enough I put enough in my cart but I think I might just get it but this is called seasoned. Doesn't it look great? Like, look at that. They sold me with the cover. And this uh, book says it's over 100 recipes that maximizes flavor inside and out. First thing I, I open up to, Mojo Chicken. Yes. So, so the plan is to get a um, kitchen countertop uh, bookshelf. And I'm going to put all of my cookbooks on or in that uh, bookshelf to just have there when, you know, when I'm making dinner or meal prepping and I need some inspiration. 
tap into one of these, but I'm excited about it. Absolutely excited. It's gonna be fun. A nice little, you know, reading option while I cook. This is, oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, Lord, this is heavy. Heavy. Move out the way. I think I know what this is and I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about this one too. I'm excited about everything. I think I, I think good. I think good. So you guys, everything okay there, mom? So you guys know my, uh, the drama that I've been going through trying to find Stobbs Black Pumpkin, Black uh, Pumpkin Cast Iron Cocoa Roaster, whatever you want to call it, Pot, Cast Iron Pot, child. So I've been going through a lot because I've been trying to find that pot for, what, four years now? Every time I find it, it's ridiculous. Like, I guess because it's such a once in a lifetime piece, just like Staub's, uh pine, green pine pot, that's another thing. Like, if you can, when, when you see it, you better get it. Because, my God, today, they only make like four. Because every time they send me a notification that it's back in stock, I go, I go to check it out, it's back out of stock again. So it's very, very hard to get along with along with Saul's Black Pumpkin. And every place that I have found it has been a reseller. And the price has been absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just, you know, I'm not here for it. And I told you that I was in Home Goods and I saw the white pumpkin pot. And I was just about to buy Staub's pumpkin pot that was $200 at Williams Sonoma. Side note, I'm still going to buy that. Here is why. It's just Staub, it's, it's just a superior pot. And if I want to use, continue to use that uh, as a collection piece and also something to um, cook in and still have for years on end, that pumpkin pot is going to be it. Uh, the white pumpkin pot that I got from Smith and Thumb. I don't want to say Smith and Wolitsky's because I know that's a restaurant in Philly. But wherever I got this from, it's a nice pot. It cooks very well, but the upkeep is ridiculous. It, it's not something that you should cook in often because... I, I just feel like it would not last as long as Stop's Pumpkin, which is probably why it was uh, $29.99. Even here. See, I got a little, got a little something on it that I got to take care of. But, uh, abs oh, this got to go back. Darn it. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> here it is. This is the Black Pumpkin pot that I wanted. Oh, darn it. I feel like I won't be able to find this anywhere else because I have not found it in stores. I've only found it online and I don't know if I feel like returning this and then ordering it again online without any nicks. I might just do that. We'll see. We'll see. But here it is. This is the black pumpkin pot. Um, this, I, I, I got this because you can't find the stop one anywhere that's uh, affordable. I wish they would put it back on their site, but they just don't keep this pumpkin pot in stock or that pine pot, that pine uh, tree pot that I love. But this is from Smith and Clark Ironworks. This is also on the res reseller site, like, um, there it is, like eBay, Mercai, I think they're called, Poshmark, and they all are selling them like $30 overpriced. So yeah. You can absolutely find this on Home Goods. I think it's still there. I'm going to check again, but I, I'm going to have to return it because of the nick right here. Like, I can't look past that if you can see it. Like, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So I'm absolutely going to have to return this and order it again online. And that sucks. That sucks. But I'm going to have to do that. But this is what it looks like in full. And I love it. I love it, but I'm absolutely going to have to return it. And I think they have more in stock. It is given kind of blue or like grayish, dark gray, but I'm fine with that. Like I'm not going to be using a black pumpkin pot for too long. I literally got this just for Halloween because I'm going to switch out my orange Staub pumpkin pot. The white pot is going to be the first one. The white Smith and Clark pot is going to be a part, the first part of my fall collection. Then um, as we get into Halloween, I'm gonna switch out the white and put up this pot for the, the last uh, week of um, October. But then when we get into November, the orange pot, the orange stall pot, the OG, is going to be, you know, a part of the decor for the remainder of the season. But I specifically just got this for Halloween, so I'm not too, like, 
you know, crazy about the upkeep of this because I don't see myself using this a lot. This is absolutely a part of my Halloween decor, but I'm gonna return it and I'm gonna get um, one that's in good shape because I don't know what they did with this. Look like somebody took a bite out of my pot. Hello, McGruff. But yeah, that's that. Ciao. We got a treat right here. We got a whole treat. We got a whole treat. I'm just like, is the light on? I can't believe it's just so dreary today. This right here. Listen, so I'll start talking about it. So, ah, darn it. I think I know what it is, so I'll tell you guys about it. La Crusade, because I ordered two items, so I don't know if they both arrive or it's just this one. La Crusade. La, la, Crusade. La, la, lo, lo, Crusade. Um, they are still having, currently having, and putting up new items every day, a factory to table sale. Basically, it's, if you're in America, it's all the stuff that we love that we can never get. Because I feel like the best uh, La Crusade that I see is always in the Philippines. I never see the La Cruze that I want in America. So basically, it's all of their specialty items from across the globe. They now are selling them on their, um, on their online site. Extremely discounted. Extremely discounted. And it's a one-time only, and you cannot return anything. So I hope that nothing is broken, because I do not want to get into a fight with La Cruze. I do not want to get into a fight with them but I will if I have to. So, oh, I think I know what this is. So I have been looking for this for forever and I was actually considering buying this off of Poshmark, but I just know how much it really is and I felt like they were just charging me out the wazoo. So I like hearted it, hearted the item, I liked the item and I kept it there just in case I'm feeling, you know, um, bougie one day and just want to spend that money. But, um, God had another plan for me. <laughs> and I didn't even know about the factory to table sale. This is how I found out on my La Cruze. Um, I'm in a Facebook group of uh, people who are just obsessed with uh, La Cruze. La Cruze, child, I'm American. Um, so I'm in a Facebook group and one of the ladies shared all of the stuff that she got from the factory to table sale. And everybody hopped in the comments just like, is this in America? And she was like, girl, it's online. Go get your stuff. And everybody flocked to that site. And I was able to get something that I've been looking for for like two years. And I wanted it for my holiday collection. And it's this, um, this right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's their star pot. It's called something else, but I can't pronounce it. So I'm just going to say star pot. But um, this is the bottom. It's tiny. It's cute. Um, it's, uh, La Cousse, La Cousse. I love the label. Uh, it's tiny, it's cute. It's really just for a dessert or something like that.